All right, so I want this solution to be whitish first and then it should disappear its whitish color after adding sodium hydroxide drop bias into zinc acetate. Okay, I'm going to do it. I have stirred both the solutions for about 45 minutes. Uh, heating zinc acetate at 60 degree and then before adding sodium hydroxide into zinc acetate solution I have heated up the sodium hydroxide also at 60 degrees so that it should not be a temperature change okay let's see how it goes Can you see it? Can you see it, the whitest one? It's turning into white, yeah. I hope you can see my... pipette full of sodium oxide and I'm adding it drop poison to zinc acetate solution to make the zinc oxide nanoparticles yeah it's turning whitish now it should get its whitishness disappeared by the end when I finish my sodium hydroxide solution yeah It is still a white PPT, kind of whitish precipitate. But I expect when I finish all the remaining solution of uh, sodium hydroxide, its whitish whitishness should get disappear. Yeah. I don't know can you feel it or not but I can feel it the whitishness is now getting disappeared yeah so this is the solution remained maybe a few more drops yeah finish already Okay, we let it for stir for a long time so it may take time to get the nanoparticle stabilized and you can see the solution is now whitish so the uh, sorry the transparent and it will get more transparent with the passage of time so that is the indication for the zinc oxide nanoparticles to be prepared now we have to let them first about two hours so that uh, zinc oxide nanoparticles may make a colloidal solution and should not be settled down at the bottom. Yeah, and you can see now the the solution is no more white. It means we have got the successful indications for the preparation of zinc oxide nanoparticles. For use if now, when the zinc oxide nanoparticles are ready. We can use these zinc nanoparticles for the growth of zinc nanowires. Yeah.